Listen, it's just that with our background, adoption would be too difficult. And I don't think it would be fair to put either one of us through that kind of scrutiny. So where, where are you going with this? I'm out of the baby-making process. But you're not. And I was just hoping that maybe we could use a surrogate. I can't. What if I tell you that despite my new career, I will not be at peace unless we have your child to raise together, even if it's not mine biologically? What if I tell you that we're not going to make it unless we are parents together? I don't think it's fair to a child to make it responsible for our happiness. I mean, to say having a baby's going to save us or, or not having one is going to tear us apart, I... Really, Jason? So you won't even consider a surrogate? You are not being fair. Relationship took root around my pregnancy. When I was terrified at the fact of a helpless baby being dependent on me, you convinced me that I could do it, that we could do it together. We were going to be a family. And now you're just simply refusing to give me that. No, I, I can't give you that. In fact, I'm the one who took that away from you. you Jason, I because... don't blame you for that. How many times do I have to tell you that it is the rest that I can't accept? All those months that went by and we could have gotten pregnant and we didn't. And the fact that now you won't even consider sharing your child with me. I can't believe it's taken me this long to see how selfish, how selfish you really are. I'm glad you came in. I've got a new angle for a follow-up on fire safety. There's a woman in Pittsburgh who survived a house fire. She was able to save her toddler, but she lost her three-month-old. She's willing to talk about what she did right versus what she did wrong. I can't really think about any of this right now. What happened? You know, coming here was probably a really bad idea. I just... I had a terrible fight with Jason. You confronted him about Elizabeth's baby? Well, sort of. I mean, I didn't come right out and say it, but he knew exactly what I was talking about. He knew that I wanted him to share his life with me, his child with me, and, of course, he refused. Look, what is wrong with Jason? Why are you questioning Spinelli? Please don't expect me to talk you into staying in your relationship. I have made no secret about the fact that I think Jason is an obstacle to your career. He was also the catalyst for events that left you barren, after which you promptly went and had a baby with someone else. I mean, those are black marks against any man. But to top it off, Jason lives a life dictated by violence, which often, often finds its way to you. I know, but I love him. Oh, what about that? Are you sure? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know that I'm not saying what you want to hear. I'm just trying to give you an objective opinion. And considering everything you've shared with me about your past, I have to ask, could you possibly be confusing love for codependence? No. No, absolutely not. What I have with Jason is real. It's, it's the most real thing I've ever felt. What I can't get past is the fact that he had a baby with another woman. I mean, if, if not for that, I honestly believe that we would be happy the way we are. No, Mr. Krentlesser wasn't, um, wasn't questioning me. He was just um, opening mail, violently. Uh, and he offered me a drink to um, cement our bond. Since when do you and Sonny have a bond? Oh, since always. <laughs> he's, um, it's because he used to own cold. I mean, he's, he's your friend, as am I, and so we are friends by extension which is an honor really uh bigger than an ontarian sandworm but pretty exhausting so i think i might go take a nap okay, if that's well, okay with you guys go take a nap oh. let's go what did i walk in on well you're you know you're it seems like you're suffering or something's going on with you 
I asked Spinelli what's going on because you won't trust me enough anymore to tell me. It's just, uh, there's really nothing that you can, you know, you can fix. Well, maybe I can't fix it, but at least I can listen. Uh, Sam and I were just, you know, having, having some problems. She wants to have a baby and she can't because of me. Just the whole thing's a mess. No, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll come back. Okay, I'll check back with you. Stonecold. Stonecold. Um, uh, the, the Jack Court requests a chance to explain, okay? Um, no matter what it might have looked like, I did not reveal to Mr. Corinthos or the source of your secret pain, okay? I know that. Look, I, I, I resisted his true serum. I, I, I warded off the fine tip of his blade. But, you know, while the jackal would rather die than betray you, I'm not sure the, the Constitution is as strong as the spirit. See, Mr. Corinthos has ways of making people talk, and I think they all hurt. Okay. Spinelli, it's okay. I just told him that I was having problems with Sam, and that should hold him off for a while. May I, um... <clears throat> respectfully submit that maybe you should I don't know reconsider your position and, and, and enlighten the Pacino esque one about the true source of your emotional plight. I don't, I don't want Sonny to know that Jake is my son. I already know what he's gonna tell me to do. He's gonna tell me to fight. Alright, forget about me. Lulu needs you, what? Spinelli. Wait, wait, is something wrong with the blonde one? Something uh really bad went down. And she and I'm furious, I mean furious and devastated that I will never be the mother of your child. But I won't let, I won't let anger ruin what we have. You are still the most important thing that's ever happened to me. Neither will I. 